Hello everyone! A pleasant day, my grade 4 learners! I hope you are all safe and healthy. It's me again, your teacher Elaine. Let us all enjoy this day as we learn together. Make your paper and pencil ready because we are about to begin our English lesson. In this video, we're going to learn about subject and predicate. Do you have any idea what does a complete sentence mean? With that, a complete sentence, it is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. It has two parts, the subject and the predicate. So it means the complete sentence are made up of two important parts called subject and predicate. So we use the complete sentences every day when we read, when we speak, and when we write. Did you understand? Very good! Alright, now let's define what does a subject mean. Do you have any idea, grade 4? When we say subject, what does it mean? Okay, so let's read the definition of a subject. When we say subject, it tells who or what the sentence is about. So meaning to say that the subject, it can be a noun, a proper noun, or a pronoun. What about the predicate? When we say predicate, what does it mean read for? Do you have any idea? Alright, let's read the definition of a predicate. When we say predicate, it tells what the subject does or is. So it means the predicate usually begins with a verb. Now, let's practice identifying the subject and predicate in some complete sentences. Are you ready, grade 4? Now, let's read the first example. Let's read the sentence. Go. The monkey lives in the forest. One more time, let's read again. The monkey lives in the forest. Alright, so first, let's find our subject. Where is the subject in this sentence? Very good. Who or what is the sentence about? The subject is the monkey. Very good. And now, let's find where is the predicate. Always remember that the predicate usually begins with a verb, right? So the word lives is a verb. That's why our predicate is lives in the forest. Yes, all of it. Very good read for. One more time. Let's read another example. Let's read again, everybody. My friend told me a story. What do you think is the subject in this sentence? Good job. The subject is my friend. And the predicate told me a story. Good job, grade 4. For this time, let's have a drill. Are you ready, grade 4? Alright, make your paper and pencil ready. Let's get started. Now, let's begin with the first sentence. Let's read. Venice wrote a letter. So, what do you think is the subject in this sentence? Very good. The word Venice. And what about the predicate? You have to look for the verb to identify the predicate. Think about it. Hmm. Good job. Our predicate is wrote a letter. Very good. Okay, let's answer another sentence. Kate eats an ice cream for dessert. Very good. Can you find the subject? Alright, our subject is 
Okay, good job. And what about the predicate? Very good. The word it is a verb. So, our predicate is it's an ice cream for dessert. Good job! For this time, let's answer the last sentence. Everybody, let's read. Miko and Mike played in the mud. So, our subject is Miko and Mike. Very good. And what about the predicate? Our predicate usually begins with a verb. So, where is the verb in this sentence? Very good. Played. The verb is played. So, our predicate is played in the mud. Good job! Alright, now that we're done with our lesson, you know already how to identify the subject and predicate in some complete sentences. Our next topic would be simple subject and simple predicate. See you again on my next video. Bye! Thank you for watching! For more YouTube videos, more reading tutorials, from grade 1 up to grade 4, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and just click the bell button.